Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today's video is a grounding yoga practice. Um, the day that this video is uploaded is either on Earth Day or somewhere close to Earth Day. So we're going to do a practice to help us to connect to Mother Earth. So let's get started in a nice, easy seated position here. And we're going to use the Bu Mudra, also known as the Mother Earth Mudra. So to do this mudra, we're going to connect our thumb, our ring finger, and our little finger. The other two fingers extend, and we're going to let these two fingers rest on the ground. So arms extended, fingers resting on the ground. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Second deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Good. Let's take one more deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. You come back to your natural breath. Spending a few moments here, preparing our minds and our bodies for this grounding yoga practice which will not only increase our feeling of safety and stability and security but also help us to connect to mother earth okay, inhale exhale bring the hands to heart center inhale Lift the arms up. Exhale. We're going to open the elbows. Cactusing the arms from the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, round the spine. Bring the chin towards the chest. Bring the hands together. Good. Inhale, bring the arms back out wide, cactus the arms, palms facing outward, arch the spine, lift the chin. Exhale, round the spine, bring the chin to the chest, bring the hands together. Good, let's do a couple more times. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, bring the hands to heart center again. Exhale, release the hands. From here, let's extend our right arm out to the side. Inhale. Exhale, lower the right hand down to the ground. Drop the left ear to the left shoulder for a nice neck stretch here. You can stay just like this or gently rest the left hand on the side of the head. Good. Inhale. Exhale, release the left hand. Extend the left arm out to the side. Inhale. Exhale, lower the left hand down. Drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Right hand gently rests on the side of the head if you like. Good. Inhale. Exhale, release the right hand. Bring the hands to heart center and interlace the fingers. Now let's just roll out the wrist here. Rolling them two, rolling them one way and then the other. Good. 
Just getting a quick wrist stretch here. And then when you're ready, we'll make our way up to hands and knees in a table position. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. You can bring the tops of the feet flat. Take an inhale, extend the right arm out to the side. Exhale, thread it behind the left. Right ear, right shoulder, come down to the ground. Good. If you'd like more, you can take this left arm and bend it behind your back. Inhale, exhale, lower the left hand back down, press back up to table. Let's do that on the other side. Inhale, extend the left arm out to the side. Exhale, bring it behind the right. Left ear, left shoulder, come down to the ground. Keeping the right hand planted on the ground or bending it behind your back. Exhale, lower the right hand down. Press back up to a table position. And we'll get ready to come to down dog. So tuck the toes under, lift the hips up and back. Come to down dog. Pedal the feet out here a little bit. Good. When you're ready, gaze comes in between the hands, bend the knees, step or jump the feet up behind the hands. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale, lower down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Good. Start to bend into the knees, roll up to standing. Bring those arms with you, inhale. Exhale, the hands to heart center. And then down at your sides, coming to mountain pose, Tadasana. Knees are soft, shoulders relaxed. Feel that grounding down through the feet. You can rock back and forth from the balls of your feet to your heels. Feeling grounded here in an alignment. When you're ready, sweep the arms up. Inhale. Exhale the hands to heart center. And we'll move into Vriksasana tree pose. So I'll give you three options. Option one, left toes rest on the ground. Left heel rests on the right ankle. Option two, we slide the foot up to the calf. Option three, we grab the foot and bring it all the way up to the thigh. Whatever option you choose, we just want to make sure that the foot is either above or below the knee. So not resting the foot on the knee because we don't want to put that awkward pressure on our knee. So pick whichever option works for you. Hands at heart center. Open the left knee out to the side. Find a focal point somewhere to help you balance. Focal point is also known as your shishti. And if you're feeling good here, you can extend the arms up. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale the hands back to heart center. Now we're going to release the left foot and start to bend into the right knee crossing the left leg over the right. You can cross it over one time, or you can let that left foot come around that right leg more. We can let this, these left toes rest on the ground. From here, we'll extend the arms forward. Left elbow will come underneath the right elbow. Back of the hands face each other, or the palms face each other, lifting 
the forearms up and away for Garudasana, Eagle Pose. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Unravel. Take a big step back with that left foot and rotate the back heel down flat. Bend into that right knee, aligning the knee over the ankle. Let the arms come out wide for Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Good. Nice and open through the hips here. Inhale. Exhale, windmill those hands down on either side of the foot. Come to a lunge position. Step the left foot up to meet the right. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Good. Start to roll up to standing. Bring those arms with you. Inhale. Exhale the hands to heart center. And down to your sides. Coming back to Tadasana. Good. Get ready to do that on the other side. So inhale the arms up. Exhale the hands to heart center. We'll move into Vriksasana on the left side. So pick whichever option works best for you. Remember, the foot is either above or below the knee. Let that right knee come out to the side. Find your jishti, your focal point. If you like, you can extend the arms up. Good. And inhale. Exhale. Bring the hands to heart center. Release the right foot. Cross the right leg over the left. Either letting those left toes rest on the ground or bringing that right foot around. Extend the arms forward. Right elbow underneath left elbow. Back of the hands face each other, palms face each other. Lift those forearms up and away for Garudasana on this side. Good. Inhale. Exhale, release. Big step back with the right foot. Rotate the back heel down flat. Bend into the left knee, align it over the ankle. Arms come out wide for Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Good. And inhale. Exhale, windmill those hands down on either side of the front foot. Step the right foot up to meet the left. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Roll up to standing. Inhale. Exhale the hands to heart center. And down to your sides. Coming to Tadasana. Good. From here we'll bring our feet to about the width of our mat. Hands at heart center. Inhale. Exhale, start to squat down, bringing the elbows inside of the knees. Trying to keep those toes facing as forward as you can. Trying to keep the feet flat. Hips may be up high or you may be able to come down lower. You can always sit on a block or a couple pillows as well if you need to. Hands at heart center. Nice long spine. Open chest here. Malasana is a great grounding pose, opening up the root chakra, grounding down through the feet. Inhale. Exhale, lower the hands down, lift the hips. Heel to the feet underneath the hips. Come to Uttanasana, forward fold. Good. 
From here, we'll step straight back to down dog. Inhale. Exhale, drop down to the knees, toes together, knees wide. Float the hips back towards the heels. Extend the arms forward. Come down to Balasana, Child's Pose. Good. Inhale. Exhale, we're going to walk the hands back and come to hero pose. So we're sitting the hips back on the knees. If this doesn't feel good for you, you can bring a couple blocks or a couple pillows underneath the hips. Or feel free to skip this pose altogether. So we're going to bring our knees together and let our feet come from underneath our hips and let our hips come to the ground. Just so resting the hands on the knees here. couple breaths good inhale exhale we'll make our way down to our back however you can safely get there is just fine I want to bring our legs around the front first and then hug your knees into the chest From here, we'll take our hands, bring them to the outside of the feet. Keeping the knees bent, we'll start to extend our feet up towards the sky. Elbows may, may be inside of the knees or outside, depending on what's most comfortable for you. Flex the feet. Gently press the feet down towards the ground. We'll rock side to side for happy baby. Good. Inhale. Exhale, hug the knees back into the chest. Squeeze, inhale, hold. Exhale, release to Shavasana. Those feet reach towards the bottom corners of the mat, arms resting at your sides, palms facing upward. Or you can come to a seat if you like. Let's come back to those long, slow breaths we use at the beginning of class. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Deep inhale. Full exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. And come back to your natural breath. Allowing your body to be heavy. Imagining it melting down into the floor. Feeling the surface of the ground underneath you. Begin to imagine roots sprouting from your body. Those roots reach deep into the earth until it reaches the earth's core. And begin to feel the heat from the earth's core 
as it rises up through the roots and starts to warm your body. Maybe you feel a fire in the belly or a tingling sensation from that warmth. Picture that warmth as an inner light, an inner glow. It's a comforting warmth. You begin to feel radiant and safe and confident. filled with warmth and love and light. On your next inhale, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Coming back into your body, coming back into the room. When you're ready, if you're laying down, roll over onto your favorite side using your arm as a pillow. Taking a moment to reflect on your practice and to extend some gratitude towards yourself for the self-care and the self-love you've practiced here today. And then when you're ready, come up to a comfortable seat if you're not already there. And together, we'll sweep the arms up. Inhale, let the hands meet. Exhale, the hands to heart center. Namaste. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me for this grounding in Mother Earth yoga practice. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. Don't forget to check the link in my description box about joining my channel as a member and also the, a link in my description box about shopping Black Yogi Nico Marie merch. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. Peace and love.